Gate 2026 revision master plan and also we are going to discuss that there is one rumor around that uh, there is extra 25 marks in uh, gate exam would it be true or not or what's the reason behind that so what should be your revision strategy what should you do and what is a proven strategy from top rankers that is multiple iteration approach Hello students, welcome back to our YouTube channel Geeks for Geeks, Gate Computer Science and Data Science. So in this video we are going to discuss Gate 2026 revision master plan and also we are going to discuss that there is one rumor around that uh, there is extra 25 marks in uh, Gate exam. Would it be true or not or what's the reason behind that? So we are going to discuss all those things in this video. So first let's start with what's new in Gate 2026. So two new subjects has been added in GATE 2026 that is Geometrics Engineering and Naval Architecture and Marine Engineering which would help in uh, help students in uh, different expanding their career opportunities they can give exams in these streams as well. Also there is multiple paper option this was previously as well and this year as well you can fill uh, two papers in one attempt. So like who are who is giving CS then who can uh, go for DA as well and you can just check what are the combinations available if you are from any another stream uh, by just checking on gate DA, uh, gate website relaxed eligibility third year undergraduates can now appear obviously third year undergraduate previously as well we have this opportunity that third year undergraduate can apply in exam offering earlier preparation opportunities and career planning and 100% objective format so one more thing uh, like there would all uh, there would only be questions based on mcq msq and nat mcq in which one of the option is correct msq multiple options are correct and nat is numerical based answers and total marks remain 100 with no official announcement of extra 25 marks there is no official announcement of extra 25 marks total marks is 100 marks only so th that is a rumor why it is uh, there is this rumor that 25 marks extra there is no official confirmation neither IIT nor national coordination board board has announced that any additional 25 marks uh, there is in gate 2026 there is consistent pattern 100 marks uh, 3 hour paper source of confusion misinformation like stems from sectional weightage discussion or the new combined papers option availability so students are just getting uh, confused with uh, subject wise weightage and all those things and uh, like there is this misinformation that extra 25 marks is added in gate no the paper would be of 100 marks only focus your energy on mastering the existing 100 marks right we have to cover these 100 marks in such a way that we are able to get each of the marks out of these 100 we are going to solve all of the questions that's uh, for that we have to revise because uh, most of the students would be in revision zone or also who are uh, uh, like some of the students who have some s s uh, subjects left they are also practicing questions and all those things so instead of chasing of uncomfort uh, rumors just work on whatever you have right now that is uh, mastering the existing 100 mark syllabus right so you need to do that and also gate 2026 CSE exam pattern is in total we have 65 question that is of 100 marks and duration is of 3 hours in these 3 hours you have to solve these 65 questions can be MCQ, NAT, MSQ and out of those 15 marks is aptitude that is of 10 questions and engineering mathematics 13 marks and the remaining one computer science subjects that is of 72 marks strategic approach prioritize high weightage core subjects while maintaining strong fundamentals in mathematics and general aptitude as you can see that mathematics and general aptitude comprises of uh, 28 marks so it is a heavy weightage so do not ignore aptitude we always say that do not uh, ignore engineering mathematics just work on that practice questions because for these subjects you need to practice questions and also uh, when you are working on these uh, core computer science subjects do not only focus on topics just go through that what kind of previous year questions they are asking so that you can score these 100 marks 
uh, you can score maximum out of these 100 marks. So what should be your revision strategy? What should you do? Because uh, like it is September month, so most of the students are on that path. Some of the subjects gets completed. Maybe two or three subjects are remaining right now. So to complete those subjects, first you have to cover all of your syllabus and also at the same time, you have to start solving. If you haven't solved previous year question, just solve it right now and then later on move to test series. And in those test series, give subject wise full mock test and start with topic wise then subject wise and then move to full mock so when you are working on subject wise test make sure uh, when you are giving all those test tests, uh, test you would uh, analyze those tests as well right it is important that what you are doing and how much you are working on analyzing those tests that whatever error you have done are you uh, learning based on that or not and you would check that your score gets improved day by day as you would analyze all the uh, subjects right and what is a proven strategy from top rankers that is multiple iteration approach that's what i told you first give a test analyze make sure that uh, you would learn from those mistakes and then again give a test uh, theory mastery, systematic revision, previous year question, mock test practice. Repeat this cycle for thorough preparation. So again, revise, uh, revise all the concepts, give again test, again revise concepts, then again give test. So it this process would help you to get, uh, get command on topics. Dedicated subject timeline. Allocate 25 days per major subject, including theory, study, revision session, and comprehensive testing phases. So make up, make sure you would, and uh, not 25 days exactly. According to you, just make sure that you would make a plan, a revision plan for uh, your all the subjects, so that no subjects gets left out. Trusted resources selection. Just make sure that because it is last time. Uh, you are working, you are using your trusted resources like Geeks for Geeks from programming concepts and official gate papers. Uh, continuous assessment. So implement regular self-evaluation through er error analysis. That's why we have test series so that uh, you would self-evaluate yourself as well because before giving exam, gate exam, you would uh, go through this exam process so many times that it would be easy for you to solve questions in gate exam. Uh, timing practice, accuracy improvement, all those things you would be able to do it using mock tests. Uh, conclusion, no extra marks, just smarter preparation, right? You have to uh, like to get maximum marks out of this 100, what you need to do? You have to uh, revise again and again because this is last moment and uh, like uh, only revision is not uh, not enough. You have to practice question and what wherever you are facing problem, just go through uh, that particular topic and revise that and do it again and again. You would help. It would help you to get good marks. Quality resources, structured approach, and focus on reality. Right. So these points you should keep in mind. Okay. So yeah, the uh, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining.